Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's all okay. So, completely different video today. I receive a phone call, uh, well, more likely a text message, but he's been calling me all morning while I was asleep. But he's asked me to get my ass down to Camberley Cart Club, uh, which is roughly about 25 minutes away from here. So, I have no idea what's going on. I think there's some sort of testing uh, they've got brand new carts or something um, they're testing them out and stuff so they really want me to go over there and check check them out pretty much get some videos and stuff like that so yeah that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna head there now and uh, see what the hell's going on it's in a bit few people here, hundred percent. So where's uh, your little paddock? Oh, he's right there, right in front of me. I see it. Number twenty-five. See what's going on. How you been? How's it going? This is your baby. Don't don't leave me hanging. There we go. This is it. Wow, I've seen the photos and stuff, but. Uh, a bit closer at our concessions. Oh, you got the other one here as well. That's, That's uh, Toby. Toby's. That's Toby's. Yeah. I remember seeing the photos of that. Thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, will the colour schemes will be changed or no? Just keep them as it is. It's actually really nice. I like the uh, orange and blue. So these are both OCKs, uh, they're basically Tony Clark, different branding, this is the Zeron. So what, what engines are these? These are Rotax Maxines. Wow. Okay, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want one. So, <laughs> I haven't even driven it. <laughs> when you go Daytona on D-Max, it's basically the same engine block. Same engines, alright. But I bet they're between 10 and 15 horsepower once they're restricted. Yeah. These are putting out 32. Oh Christ. So more than probably They've double the power kick. and about two thirds of the weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the tyres are a lot softer. Yeah. So you know how when we were done the tyres still look brand new. Yeah, these they were pretty much the 24 new. hour race tyres the last 24 hours and these tyres have done about an hour. Yeah, these so these ones here were brand new at the start of the event. So now I know why Super GT's like changed these were brand two or three of them in the, one the, weekend. Literally the start yeah. of the event. 20 minutes used to say that. Wow. So they're soft then? Yeah. <laughs> And the oh, grip yeah. is un unimaginable. We put you put two to two and a half G's in the corners. And it sticks. It's and pretty you've got epic, power, man. power over grip as well. Right, I'm gonna set up my little chair like just yeah, so yeah. I can chill a little bit later. So at the moment I'm just with Chris, we're, we're just going to walk over to the track and uh, have a good view. What is it, the junior carts are out? Yes. So we'll just have a look and uh, check this place out as I've never been here before. So then straight after our session is the shifter carts. Shifter carts, okay. The geared ones, yep. and then nuts, there's something else. Are they the, the little, like, go on.
Ready? One, two, three. I didn't really explain what was going on today and all honesty I just came down and didn't have a clue what was going on I arrived I, I met up with Chris and also um, met up with Richard and Toby uh, they're all just drying out their carts today giving them a go so I'm so out of breath because this is a long ass hill it's very very steep so anyways having a really good time here actually and first time going over to this track as well it's yeah it's been really cool it's a really good day out let's say I say a day out I woke up after 12 from Chris trying to call me and messaging me telling me to make my way down literally honestly got up got out the door gone came straight down here took about 20 25 minutes drive onto the M3 all the way over here to Camberley so I didn't introduce where we are we are at Camberley a cart club it's called and a lot of people don't know about this place it's completely hidden behind a airport and you're kind of making your way around going past the airport you see a load of cars and stuff like that there's like a I believe there's an auction house uh, for cars and um, right at the end of it you have to take left you have to follow the sign to Camberley Car Club and you'll eventually find a car park on the left so all it was today is just trying out the carts there were a few issues um, afterwards uh, right on to Chris he was getting some decent times around here uh, I think a lot of people are getting an average on 26 seconds or 46 seconds. I knew there was seven something, there was 7.7, I think that was his uh, fastest time. But yeah, no, definitely really enjoying it. It's really cool to check out these carts. Um, I had a chat with Richard. He was telling me all the parts over the carts. I have no idea what these all are, but he was explaining to me. I was asking some questions and just learning really. And also just experience seen some shifters uh, there were junior carts as well and there's just normal standard carts as well so no it's really really cool to actually check it out especially comparing over that I've been going to indoors and also I've been going to Daytona as well uh, this is just a completely different uh, scene really no definitely having a good time here literally just getting some practice out trying out the carts having a good go on them 
and and then pick up some issues where they haven't picked up before and then just working on that really trying to improve them trying to make them a little bit more durable and that's about it and I had a fantastic time here it's been absolutely awesome thank you so much for the invite uh, I'll definitely come down here again if you guys are down please give me a shout I I'm happy to come down again uh, hopefully one day fingers crossed I'll have a go on these carts one day that'd be really really cool just take it out for at least five minutes there's no way uh, my body could probably handle more than five minutes <laughs> so they have now they're really really cool so I'm gonna um, go back down the hill go and see the guys have a quick chat with them and that's it I'm gonna make my way off this premises and call it a day as I've been here majority of the afternoon so see you guys down there so Richard tell me talk to me how was your day today what you learnt Good. what was so, the downsides and all that kind of stuff talk to me I found an OCK from factory you don't feel just like brake fluid and so on your first day you run out of brake fluid get an system and then you go and fit one in right and now it's not bleeding out properly because if the gravity bleed it should gravity well, pull this through through the line and come out here but nothing's coming through so it's slightly concerning was this the only issue that you had for today? Or, well, yeah, no, the I mean, whole point of coming down here is to get practice and trying yeah. out the carts really, isn't it? Well, I was probably so, pumping the cart and the seat's too loose at the top, too tight at the bottom, so I want to order a different seat because I'm flopping around too much and I'm losing control of the cart because I'm not rigid. Right, so, of course. There's some adjustments to make with it, but... And obviously the downside today is that your brakes failed oh, yeah. on the session before. Yeah. Was it not enough brake fluid, did you say? or not enough in there because it managed to suck air through from the reservoir. And do you think OCK, when they put all the brakes system on the cut, it comes already on the chassis when you buy the chassis brand new. Right. And you thought the pedal was solid because of the box that it'd be good. But something's wrong. So, apart from all, all these uh, issues with the brakes and stuff, uh, you had a good day so far? Uh, Has I it been so. quite interesting? I guess so. It's yeah. Frustrating, though, as we're saying. <laughs> All right, now Chris is back. Let's have a chat with you. <coughs> Hello. So it's your first time down here, wasn't it? And also yeah. uh, it's your first time on these carts, isn't it, as well? Absolutely, yeah. So yeah. talk to me, how was your day? Warm. Warm. <laughs> yeah, um, so obviously um, did the sprocket on the, on the second session, then uh, snapped the chain on the one after, and then this one, the bumper, has kind of sheared inside the pipe so I'm trying to get that out. It seems like everyone is having issues uh, every time you go on to the track really which is it's good to do it now until you actually do an actual sprint racer for example yeah. and stuff like that so it's always good to find these problems and fix them and hopefully they last. So yeah. tell me the track times. Uh, so my quickest at the minute is a 27.7 so I've dropped Brilliant. a tenth from the second session um, obviously the rest of them are kind of in write-offs, but yeah. It's been what fun. is the track times average around? Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Um, Rich said oh, like high 26, low 27 in the race space. Oh, yeah. that's so that's pretty good then. Uh, what well, you got is good, very yeah. good. Um, that's not bad, especially first time yeah. arriving here. I'm happy with that. So, but out of all the cuts you've driven and out, do you enjoy it? Yeah, these yeah. brilliant. These brilliant, brilliant, yeah. What was, uh, what's Richard. so different about them compared to, I don't know, like normal rentals? Instant power, a lot faster, yeah. and all of the poo comes out. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so, and obviously, of course, they're a lot lighter, aren't they? Yeah. Compared to rentals and that, so... Um, what did you say, they, the, the, the max weight? 124? It's 124 curb no, weight. No, no, no. Um, for... Racing weight is either 162 or 177. Right. And, and these? Lightweight. The car itself is about 85 kilos. Um, Massive difference. And unlike your Daytona carts, these are proper road taxes that aren't restricted and powered down. These are full blown 30 odd horsepower rather than like 12. Mm. So, yeah. Great fun. Oh, Great it's fun. absolutely awesome, isn't it? So, no, I was just saying um, earlier on the camera, thank you so much for the invite and stuff. Right. It's, uh, it's really cool actually check out this actual place and checking out these carts as well. I've learned a lot just by spectating. Um, I've always wanted to do it again, for sure. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Um, I've got to buy one first. Yeah. <laughs> See what you've done, Rich. I told you you'd do this too. Everyone's <laughs> going to buy one now. Everyone who's tried one of these out, I've brought down here, bought one within one or two goes. 
Right. Yeah. So if I can't, if you if, if you invite me down again, uh, I'll probably end up with a third time having having my own one. Of which, course. Uh, it's quite daunting, really. So Toby, how was your day today? Talk to me. Day. Good day. Hot day. Very. Good hot day. day. And uh, yeah. was it? It's, all, it's been a little bit down day. as well, isn't it? Yeah. With the yeah, had some problems with the engine. That's it. Figured out. It's just a little coil pack. Things go wrong. We move forward. Yeah, uh, it's what it is. So uh, how is it out on the track? Hot. Very hot. hot. Yeah, sticky. Good what? group of guys out there today. Some quick guys. So awesome. Down the back of them. What kind of times you getting? Uh, 26 7 in that last session. Oh, with fantastic. Some, uh, was that your fastest so far? It Have is. You, yeah. With some ignition problems as well. So hopefully out in this session should be uh, awesome. Quicker. Yeah, now everything's all up and ready over there. Fingers so, crossed. Fantastic. Is this your first time here or? No, I've been here for uh, six or seven times. Six, five, seven six times, times. So you know the circuit quite well then. Yeah, I know the circuit pretty well. Fantastic. Local awesome. So uh, was it you owned this car? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought that. A couple weeks ago actually. A couple of weeks ago. How's yeah. it feeling today? Has it been really good so yeah, far? a lot better than the old car. Yeah. Everything's new. Chassis, done about five weekends. Engine is two, two and a bit weekends old. So awesome. Pretty perfect. So what were you yeah. using previously then? Um, a 2016 chassis with a pre-Evo engine. Okay. So slightly older in both departments. Awesome. Yeah. Talk me over the, um, the car and for us new people. Talk me through it. What's oh. like the? Tell me the specs. Tell so me the speed is, and all that kind of stuff. This is a 2020 OTK chassis um, with a brand new Rotax Max Evo engine. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. 30, 30 odd horsepower at these. They weigh about 80 kilos. So as you can imagine, they what's go top, a rocket. What's the top speed? This track, it's five mile an hour. But if you gear it up to a long circuit track, you get 80, 80 plus out of these. Um, yeah, Mojo D5 tyres, very sticky, don't last too long, but nice and fun to drive on, so awesome. Playing. Now, hopefully, this uh, next session uh, will be very good. Hopefully, you can beat that time. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah. No, you're not having any issues with it, so yeah. it sounds much better than it was previously yeah. when you were firing it up earlier, so. Yeah, fingers crossed, it'd be fingers really, really crossed. good. Yeah, hopefully, we will see. Awesome, thank you very much. Perfect. No problem. Right, boys, I'm gonna love you all and leave you. Thank you so much today. Um, thanks for the invite. See you next time, yeah? See you in a bit. Take care now, bye bye. That is it for me. Time for me to shoot off and let these guys do one more session and that as uh, time I'm leaving. I've got, I've got places to be. But that no, really, really, really good afternoon. I've been really enjoying it. It's been really, really good fun. Uh, I'll definitely do another video of this in the future. It depends what the guys are doing. So, anyways, right, uh, time to end this video. So, thank you so much for checking out this. Um, give it a like, give it a comment and stuff. And uh, sounded usual stuff, really. So, uh, not sure what the next video will be. This one is very unexpected. But anyways, take it easy. Regard yourselves. Bye-bye.